What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again and today we have got a Cathedral City product. Now this looks good I'll be honest. It is two smoked haddock and cheddar cheese fish cakes coated in a crispy breadcrumb. Look at that. That is what we're trying today. Cathedral City from Iceland. 300 grams. Not a very big pack is it really? You will not believe the price of this for this little box two fish cakes you're not going to believe it what is the world coming to when this costs this much let's come and have a look at the box and see what's in it and see why the price is the price come down here okay this is the box cathedral city says certified sustainable seafood there 300 grams looks like we've got so cathedral city is cheese obviously a cheese company so they've got some fish cakes and they put a bit of cheese in the middle put their branding on it and charging well you're about to find now two smoked haddock and cheddar cheese sauce fish cakes coated in a crisp crisp breadcrumb information there it says cathedral city our smoked haddock fish cakes Minced smoked haddock with mashed potato and a Cathedral City cheddar and mozzarella cheese sauce in a crispy breadcrumb coating with rice flakes. With rice flakes. And it says the smoked haddock and haddock in this product comes from a fishery that has been independently certified to the MSC's standard for a well-managed and sustainable fishery. Um, tells you how it's caught, where it's caught and all that sort of thing. Here are the ingredients in full. 22% potato, 19% Cathedral City cheddar cheese, 14% smoked haddock. So you're not getting a lot of fish in this fish cake. 1.5% mozzarella, 9% haddock. Oh, 14% smoked haddock and 9% haddock. So 25%, 23%. Not too bad, actually. You've got milk and fish as the allergens. And it says, although every effort has been made to remove all bones, some may remain. And that is the nutritional information in full. If you want to pause that for you guys that know what you're talking about, I of course do not. Per fish cake oven baked is 337 calories, 24 grams of carbs and 15 grams of protein. Ways to cook. Where are we? Oven from frozen, basically a full pack. When they say a full pack, that's two. <laughs> um, Twenty-four minutes in the oven, nineteen minutes in the air fryer. I'm going to put them in the. I'm going to put these. Get your words out, do you know? I'm going to put these in the air fryer for nineteen minutes. Although I don't think they'll take nineteen minutes, to be honest. Let's have a look at them. Let's open them up. Yeah, they're a, they're a decent size. Well, they're a decent thickness. They are just a little small fish cake. Are they the rice flakes on the outside there? Don't think I've ever seen rice flakes on a breadcrumb. Anyway, now's the important time. I'm going to put them in the air fryer. <laughs> Let me tell you how much this cost. Okay, I've put them in there, in the uh, in the air fryer now. Let me tell you the price. I advise you to sit down because... This might knock you over. Four pound fifty. Four pound fifty pence for two little fish cakes. What on earth is the world coming to when that little box there costs four pound fifty? It's frozen processed food that's costing four and a half quid. What is going on there? What do you think to that price? Let me know what you think to the price in the comments. I know there's better options out there. And everyone says cook cook your cook cook food fresh. Don't 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 buy the processed food. So that's what obviously you guys know that we are HelloFresh customers and they are sponsoring today's video. Um and speaking of fish, this is what we're on for tea. Fish and chips. Oh, -ho, homemade fish and chips with homemade tartar sauce. One of my favourites that. Um, and tomorrow I'm attempting to make my first ever, now I've never done this, 
my first ever homemade pie. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll put the results on my uh, on my Instagram if you want to go follow there. But if you want to try HelloFresh, like I said, they are sponsoring today's video. You can scan this QR code here, or you can use the code Dino24 at the HelloFresh website, or you can click the link in the description, and that will get you 60% off your first box, 20% off your next two months worth of boxes. That's two months, not two boxes. So you get another seven boxes, and you get free gifts. The girls have eaten all our free gifts by now because. It is GU desserts currently at the time of filming this. So them chocolate puddings, they go in our house, they are gone. Literally, they open the HelloFresh box when it gets delivered and just to see what desserts come, what are the free gifts. Fantastic. If you have been a customer of HelloFresh before and you've cancelled for any reason, if you cancelled over 12 months ago, you can also get this offer. Even if you've had it before, you can get it again. So if you want to try it, give it a go. If your circumstances have changed, if you want to try it again, you can. Right, I'll bring you back when these uh, £4.50 smoked haddock fish cakes are done. Okay, these are ready. There we go, what do you think to them? Get them on here. That's just a normal size plate. It shows how small they are. There's two on there. You couldn't be serving this. Does it say serves two on there? It does say contains two servings. What the heck? So you take one of them away and put that on. Even with mashed potato and peas, you're gonna. Have, there's just not enough main bit of your meal. You're gonna have to have this as a serves one with potato and peas or something, aren't you? We're just going to try it anyway for the video here. Like I said, we're having fish and chips later. So let's see how crispy it is. It's got a nice crispy. I'm not sure about these rice flakes that are in this breadcrumb. I'm not, I've never seen that before. I don't, I don't remember anyway. It's cut open straight down the middle. I see this cheese comes out of the middle. She will let. Come on, where's all this cheese? Where's all this cheese? It's all mashed potato. It's supposed to be 25% cheese and 22% mashed potato. It doesn't look like them percentages are accurate. I'll be honest. It looks like it's all mashed potato. Oh, Cathedral City, what have you done to me here? Four and a half quid for a potato cake. Right, okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so it's all important taste time. We're gonna go straight in for a, a bite of this. I've tried my best to give a, the, 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 the portion with the most cheese on so I can get the, the full flavor because it doesn't look like there's 25% cheese and 22% mashed potato. It looks like there's 40% mashed potato and 10% cheese, if I'm honest. Smells a little bit cheesy though. You can taste the cheese definitely. The cheese sauce, it's like squirted cheese. That's what it tastes like anyway. The the outward coating is quite nice, crispy. Mashed potatoes very soft. It's not a bad fish cake. In fact, the breadcrumbing out, out of casing is really nice. The um, I did think it looked a little bit dry, but it is crispy and nice. Cheese sauce, Cathedral City cheese is not bad, but it's like a, it tastes like a squirt of cheese, you know, but you get out, I think call it Primula or something, you squirt it out. It's not great. It's heavily, heavily mashed potato. I don't know where they've got them percentages from because there's definitely not more cheese than there is mashed potato. Definitely. Impossible. In this one, anyway. I mean, it's basically all mashed potato. It 
it's not horrible it's got a nice flavor it's a nice fish cake but the fish is lost with the mashed potato the cheese is not there the cheese is supposed to be how do i get that wrong have i got that wrong 23 percent fish 20 percent cheese 20 it's just it's all potato they, it's supposed to be quite an even spread of fish potato and cheese and it's just all potato i can't see how that them ingredients are correct that's what i'll say is it worth four and a half quid absolutely not four pounds one of them that two pound 25 one fish cake what is going on i'm not sure how much a fish cake is at your local chipper but you know when they get you and you get a slice of potato an actual slice of fish and then another slice of potato battered i think ours is about that same price as that and that's way better for this one i would avoid it people unless you've got money to burn and you want to buy a few of them if you're feeding a family of four you're gonna have to put you have to buy four packs of that before you've even talking about having potatoes and peas on the side i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments and uh i'll see you tomorrow and we might even be back in the kitchen again again see you then